look, it's Robot Cop. Dead or alive, you are coming with me. Misa, give up. Dead, then. <laughs> Holy You suck. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hello YouTube, Ultramaximus back with another toy review and today we're taking a look at a Nika figure and it's Robocop with holster action and uh, this was a really weird find for me. I was at my local Walmart here in Greenwood, Indiana, I don't know, about a month or so ago, and I went in to get dog food, I think, and uh, stopped over by Buffalo Wild Wings for some dinner, and I went up to the little auto robo cash register thing, and they usually have like a couple of Nika toys and pop figures and uh, like Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards and stuff, so some kind of weird stuff you don't usually see in the back toy area there. And this guy was there, and it was $10. And I'm like, really? And it was the only figure there, so I figured I'll just go ahead and pick it up, scan it, see what happens, and lo and behold, it rang up for 10 bucks. And I was like, okay, Robocop, $10, very cool. And I have not seen this thing ever on the shelf. I know it's an older figure, I think. Um, I remember seeing pictures of it, but I've never actually held it in hand. Usually this is something I would find at, like, Toys R Us, but hey, Walmart, why not? So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Robocop in the box. I really like the package. It's simple yet very well done. Um, we get this nice kind of uh, metallic look going on here with some design. It says Robocop, holster action. It says ages 17 and up. So this is definitely the reason why it was not located in the back of the toy area. Um, we've got uh, some artwork of Robocop with a blast behind him. There he is in the package. Uh, it says Robocop at the top. Uh, it's got the MGM logo and Nika down at the bottom. Um, the Robot Cop artwork. Very cool. Definitely digging that. There he is looking very very cool uh just kind of click the top of the package real fast if you like mgm there you go here is the back of the package um kind of looks like uh, his metal plating a little bit i guess maybe um on his back or something uh it says ocp which is very cool it says part man part machine all cop of the future of law enforcement and then it shows you how to work his little uh, holster gadget very cool definitely digging the artwork uh just kind of a close-up very glossy very neat uh, yeah, definitely cool. And there is the play gimmick. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, the side of the package, I guess. Uh, it says Robocop. It's got OCP on the side. Uh, same thing on that side. So that is it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get Robocop out of box and see what we think. So here we have Robocop out of the package. And there are things I really like about this figure and things that scare the hell out of me. And one thing that just totally irritates me. Um, the sculpt is amazing on this thing. The paint apps are nice. I really like that. The articulation is kind of limited, but there are some other cool things uh, that go along with the articulation that you're not going to get with other figures, uh, which I will show off. Um, he does come with an alternate hand. Uh, this is the data collecting uh, hand. Uh, if you remember the movie, he had this little spike that he would jam into the computer to read data, and then he ends up killing one of the bad guys. Now, be careful with this, because this feels like it would totally break off. It is a very stiff piece of plastic. Usually, this is like a soft vinyl type of plastic that they would mount on there and uh, to keep it from breaking. Well, Nika decided, to ah, fuck that, and we're just going to put a hard piece of plastic, and I feel like that could snap very easily, so be wary of that um, if you're going to use that and uh, display it. Now, um, other thing that is really kind of annoying, the holster is cool. The gimmick is cool. However, this gun doesn't fit in there at all. Um, the back of the package shows that it goes in and it kind of shows where it's supposed to mount. However, when you try to close it, all it does is pop the side panel off and comes real close to breaking it. So I don't advise trying to put the gun into the holster and then close it up. It's just not going to work and that just really, really sucks. Um, so how the gimmick works, uh, if you notice his legs all closed up, he has a little button here. If you push in on that, watch what happens. Blink. 
that opens up and there's a little little pin right there you're supposed to hook the gun over to close it uh, the problem is when you go to close it uh, like this and it's pretty tightly spring-loaded ah, there it goes um, this piece automatically closes down the the hilt of it gets jammed up in here and then this thing just flies off and it stresses the little pieces out that connect it on there so I just don't recommend doing it just having them hold the gun um, it's just not worth it it's a good idea but it was poorly executed maybe that's why this thing was ten dollars I don't know um, so as far as changing the handout, um, well, let's do the articulation first. So he's on a ball joint, uh, so he can look around quite a bit. Helmet doesn't come off, that's disappointing. The arm can go all the way around. It goes out that far, goes in that far. It's on a single jointed elbow. There is a diaphragm that has little movement, nothing at the waist, even though it looks like there should be. Um, his leg goes up that far comes back actually I could probably spin all the way around I bet yep it's been all the way around the knee is also very stiff it's on a single joint and then uh, the cool thing is the ankles while they are in a single joint no rocker pivot watch the hydraulic in the back it actually functions I think that is pretty cool and just something you just don't really see now as far as um, replacing the arm you're going to twist it off like that and then you're just going to take the other one and you're going to screw it on like this. And now he has his infamous FU uh, little data capture thing there. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for the articulation. It is a pretty stable figure. It stands really well. I do like that. Um, it looks very movie accurate, which is really, really sick. So taking a closer look at the figure, the sculpt is amazing. I love the paint job. It looks like RoboCop from the films. I think they did a good job with the sculpt and uh, all the detail on it just looks really, really nice. Taking a look at the middle section of the figure again, the detail on the sculpt's nice. I like the glossy black paint. Um, I mean, every detail, very well done, very movie accurate. Um, you know, even with the gimmick on the leg, I mean, when it's closed in, it looks nice. When it's, you know, opened up, it does look nice as well. It's just a shame that the gun doesn't fit in properly. Looking at the bottom of the figure, I mean, the legs are well detailed. I like it. I love the hydraulic that works on the ankle. I think they did a good job with that. Again, the black glossy parts in the knees and around the ankles, very movie accurate. Um, as far as a stand-up display piece, I think this is a really, really well done looking figure. For comparison, here you have Robocop next to a First Order Stormtrooper and Venom. So as you can see, he scales a little bit better on the larger Marvel sized figures. So is the Nika Robocop a figure that you want in your toy collection? Well, if you collect the Nika movie action line figures, I think you'll like it. Um, if you like Robocop, you're going to like this figure. I'm impressed with it. I'm just a little upset with the holster gimmick. Um, if that worked, this I would think would be just a downright unbelievably amazing figure. That being said, it's a very good figure. It looks nice. Um, it looks movie accurate. It's well painted, very well sculpted. There are some fragile feeling points on it. Like I said, with the uh, data spike, um, the holster piece, I mean, that could break with that gun in there and um, the hydraulics, I'm afraid, could be easily broken as well. So that's why it's a 17 and up. This is definitely a collector's piece. So if you see this, like, you know, I found it at Walmart for $10. Was it worth $10? 100% yes. Um, would it be worth $20? Yeah, I mean, I could see paying $20, $25 at Toys R Us or someplace like that for this figure. I don't know if I would pay more than $25 for it, but if you happen to see it at a Walmart for $10, Absolutely, yes, pick it up. So there he is, Robocop from Nika. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And as always, look for more videos in the future.